VLOOKUP is extremely useful in calculating sales commission, doing aging analysis or to find out the marks of the students and the result they get, which grade did they get. Most people use VLOOKUP only to look up the product descriptions, product prices or to find the salary of employees. But actually VLOOKUP is extremely useful in situations where you cannot find an exact match. That's where we use an approximate match to find the correct value. VLOOKUP is extremely useful for this kind of situation where there are multiple rules. Marks are below 50 is fail, 50 and above but below 60 is grade D and etc. You can see none of the students have gotten the marks that exactly fall on any of this. So you cannot create an exact match table but we will use the approximate match feature. Another example I'll show you today coming up is how to calculate the sales commission. And in the sales commission sheet, as we can see, um, here we have the sales people and the sales and sales below 2000 gets 3% commission. 2000 to 3000 will get 5% commission, etc. So let us first understand the anatomy of the VLOOKUP. Of course, if you want to learn how to use VLOOKUP with the exact match, you can use the video on the top right and click on it after you have finished watching this one. Hey guys, this is Vinay from Excel Champ, where I provide you tips, tricks, tutorials on how to get more out of Excel and how to become an Excel Champ. So do visit our website www.excelchamp.net and do like this video, subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified of future great videos by our team. Now let's get started with the anatomy of the VLOOKUP function. So a VLOOKUP function exactly works like a dictionary. I'm sure you know how to use a dictionary. Well, you just want to search a word in the dictionary. So of course you must know which word are you searching? What is the word? You must also know in which dictionary do you want to search it? Maybe on your table you have multiple dictionaries, English language dictionary, Chinese language dictionary, Spanish language dictionary, etc. So we must know where that means exactly which language we want it. The third thing is many dictionaries like a thesaurus can also contain synonyms and antonyms. So we must know that the first word is the word that we are searching. The second could be the meaning and the third could be the antonym or the synonym. So we must know which column we are looking for. And then the fourth optional column is the match type, which we will discuss shortly. So let's say in this case, we want to find out what is the commission and what rate is all the salespersons in our company getting. So it's pretty easy. First of all, uh, we can see 3200 should get 7%. We can see that, but Excel cannot figure this out. So we are going to create a table and this table is created in a pretty special way. So just have a look. I'll say that if the sales is anything from zero and onwards, you'll get a 3% commission. And when it reaches 2000, then you get 5% commission. When it's 3000, then you get 7% commission. And for 5000 and above, it is 10% commission. So our lookup table is now set. It may look odd to you, but don't worry. This is very well set and this will help you. So I'll explain to you shortly how this is working. Let us now find out the commission rate John is going to get. So the way to write the VLOOKUP function is equal to VLOOKUP, open bracket. The first thing is the what are we looking for? So we pick the sales. This is what we are searching. Now the strange thing is 3200 is not found in this list. 
but don't worry this is where approximate match comes in handy so i'll select the data guys keep remembering that only select the data do not take the heading now, since we are going to calculate this for multiple salespeople, we need to lock the cells by pressing the F4 key so that this becomes an absolute reference. And of course, we need the commission percentage, which is the second column in this table. So I'll just type 2 here and close the bracket. That's all. Once I press enter, we can see that John got a 7% uh, commission because his sales is above 3000 and you can see 3000 but less than 5000 gets 7% commission so um, we can then simply pull this down and you can see that everybody seems to be getting the correct commission there are people who are earning between 3 to 5 and all these three people are getting between 3000 to 5000 they are getting 7% Below 2000 is getting 3% and above 5000 is getting 10%. Uh, but this don't look like a percentage. So we can select this data and simply format it as a percentage. That's it. It looks so nice. Now we can calculate the commission by saying equal to sales multiplied by the rate. Press enter and the commission is calculated we can also pull this down and all the salespeople are now getting the correct commission you may want to format this with the dollar sign so that all the decimal points are aligned correctly now let us understand how this is working so uh, 3200 the way we look up works is it will check in the table is there a is there a 3200 in this table no right now we are on zero only so we move on to the next and we look at 2000 3200 is definitely more than this so we come down to the next level and we look at 3000 yes 3002 is even more than 3000 so we come to the next bracket but by the time we reach 5000 now we are over the number so microsoft will now decide to go back a step and say i'll take this number so 3000 but less than 5000 gets seven percent now in the case of joyce who did 1976 um, we go and try here we look up checks zero then then the next number is already 2000 so 1976 cannot be found later on therefore we go back a step and take the nearest closest match that's how we look up works just like a dictionary we flip open the pages and we search for the word and once you find the word we don't uh, go any further we stop there and we take the value but a dictionary is meant for exact match but if the word is not found in the dictionary, do you take the previous word or the next word? No, it does not make sense. However, in our case, all the values do not exist in the table. Therefore, the default approximate match is fantastic. Let's look at another example. I have students here and we are going to find out their marks. So. The rules are that if you get marks below 50, it is considered a fail. 50 but below 60 is considered grade C, B, A and 90 and above is distinction. So as you can see, the rules are pretty well set. And now I'm going to show you how to set up the table. So in this case, we will say that if the marks are anything like 0 and above, it's a fail. But the moment you reach 50 you are now eligible to get a grade d and similarly for 60 it will become grade c for 70 it will grade b and 80 and above will be grade a finally 90 and above will be distinction
and now it's time to calculate our result so now we are going to write the VLOOKUP formula equals VLOOKUP open the bracket and the first thing is the what so the marks this is what we want to search for where do you want to search that's the lookup table that we have set up here and we press F4 to lock this because we don't want this to move remember only take the data not the headings the third thing we need is which column do you need do you need the first column or the second column of course this is the result that we want to calculate so we will take the second column that's it we close the bracket and press enter you can see that John didn't make it he failed the test and once we double click and copy down the result you can see that all the students have got the correct marks even though none of the marks are available in our lookup table we don't have a 44 we don't have a 55 we don't have a 66 so how does Excel find out well it takes 44 and tries here is there a 44 no there is still hope that maybe the next uh, number may be 44 but by the time you reach here it's already 50 that means we have to give up there's no chance for me to find a 44 after 50 so I give up go back a step and take the previous approximate match answer this is how Excel figures out so this is fantastic for us because in case John gets 49, it'll still be fail. Even if you get 49.99, it will still be a fail. Only when the marks become 50, then only John can get a D. So this way, our lookup table can be pretty simple and short and yet be able to work for all kinds of conditions. So whether you want to calculate sales commission, find out the student's marks, or you want to do aging analysis in the accounts receivable, like how many invoices are pending 0 to 30 days, 30 to 60 days, 60 to 90 days, etc. You can do bucketing using the approximate match feature of VLOOKUP. Now, the last thing I want to tell you is the match type. The fourth argument is the match type but you don't have to specify it because the default is set to true and true means approximate match but keep in mind if you want to do an exact match like if you're looking up an employee uh, ID and you want to find their grade or their salary then you have to use the exact match so for exact match I have a separate video that you can see on the top and you can click on it now so you can have a understanding of how to use VLOOKUP with the exact match. So as you can see, extremely easy and without specifying anything, pretty easily we have figured out the sales commission and the students grades. I'm sure you found this video useful and if you did, please like this video, write a comment, tell me how you are going to use this function in your work and please subscribe to our channel. Also write down and tell me what other um, formulas, functions or features of Excel you would like me to cover so that I can cover them in my future videos and then I can notify you because you would have subscribed to our channel by then. So do write the comments, I'll be waiting for you and please try this exercise so that you can become an Excel champ. Thank you and all the best.